Hello dear students, greetings to all. Let us continue the chapter Vedic Civilization. And today in this class, we are looking at the Vedic literature and science. During this period, very rich Vedic literature was produced. We have already seen that all the Vedic literatures were written during this time, like Rig Veda, Adar Veda, etc. The Vedas, Brahmanas and Upanishads gave us enough idea about the scientific development of Vedics, about mathematics, astrology and astronomy. <coughs> mathematics was divided into various branches like arithmetic, geometry and algebra. Arithmetic was known as Anga Ganada and algebra was uh, Bija Ganada. The people were also aware of various types of mathematical calculations like cubes, cube roots, square roots and under roots etc. The concept of zero was known to them. The decimal system was also used. During Vedic period, astronomy was well developed. The people knew about solar and lunar eclipse. They knew about the movements of the earth, its rotation and revolution. They also knew about the movement of other heavenly bodies and calculated their positions at different times they had prepared an accurate calendar. Dear students, in this heading, uh, the Vedic literature and science, we have seen uh, the development of literature. During this period, they have written Vedas, Brahmanas, Upanishads, etc. And from there, we will get the knowledge about the science also. We get enough knowledge about mathematics, astronomy, astrology, etc. So mathematics was divided into two branches, Anga Ganada and Bija Ganada. And even the people were aware about the cubes, square, root, square roots, cube roots, and roots, etc. They, uh, they were familiar with the use of zero also. And uh, when we talk about the astronomy, uh, it was well developed. The people knew about solar and lunar eclipse. And uh, they knew the movements of the earth, the rotation and revolution. They also knew about the movement of other heavenly bodies and calculated their positions at different times and they had prepared an accurate calendar. So that's all about the Vedic literature and science. And the next one is later Vedic age. At the beginning we have seen that the Vedic age was divided into two, early Vedic age and later Vedic, uh, later Vedic period. So the early Vedic pe period was discussed very elaborately and now the later Vedic age. From the Sapta Sindhu region, the Aryans pushed forward and slowly occupied the whole of northern India. So we have seen that in the early Vedic period, the people were surrounded uh, by the, uh, the the people settled around the Sapta Sindhu region, that is the seven rivers, and then they slowly moved forward and they occupied the whole northern India. They settled in the valleys of rivers Ganga and Yamuna. The period during which they found new settlements is known as the later Vedic period. The span of this period is considered to be roughly between 1000 BC and 600 BC. Most of our knowledge about later Vedic period is uh, uh, drawn from the later Vedic literatures produced during this period. Let us look at which are the uh, literatures. First of all, Sutras, Vedangas. These are the names of the literatures, Sutras, Vedangas, Upavedas and Six Darshanas or which is called as a school of Indian philosophy, the Puranas, the Dharma Shastras and especially the two great epics namely Ramayana and Mahabharata because these great epics were written during this period. Dear students, it has to be noted, Ramayana and Mahabharata were written during later Vedic period. And this age is also described as epic age because of these two epic stories. The Ramayana and Mahabharata clearly de depict the life of civilization of this period. So from this Ramayana and Mahabharata, we get a very clear idea about the life of uh, later Vedic period. Now the last point given in our textbook is the impact of Aryan civilization. So that means Vedic civilization. The Aryans had left a great impact on Indian society and culture. The first impact is Sanskrit language, its grammar, phonetics. Phonetics means the way that we pronounce. 
or the sound that we make for a word and derivations developed during this age. Sanskrit remained the unifying force in the subcontinent for centuries together. The second impact is the Aryans cleared the forests and gave an agrarian base to Indian economy which remains so till today. So it is considered that India is a uh, agricultural land. So the, the Aryans started the agriculture, they cleared the forest and they started to do the agriculture. So they had given a base for our agricultural society. And the third, third point is the philosophy of the Vedas, the Upanishads and the ideals set forth by the two epics Ramayana and Mahabharata are the foundations of present day Hindu religion and life. So the Vedas, Upanishads, Ramayana and Mahabharata, these are the foundations for uh, the present day Hindu religion and life. And the next point is the gods of later Vedic period like Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, Rama and Krishna are worshipped till today. Yajnas are performed in Hindu ceremonies. That means even though the Aryan civilization were before uh, many years, thousands of years, uh, its uh, yajnas, its gods were uh, worshipped even today. Even today, in the yajnas were performed in Hindu religion even now also. The teachings of Lord Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita continue to inspire people with its philosophy of uh, selfless action. Bhagavad Gita is also is one of the Vedic literature and the philosophy is selfless action and it is in, it inspires the people even now. And finally, does the later Vedic period with its later Vedic literature and value system continue, contained in it has left a great impact on present day life and society. That means uh, the Vedic literature and the value contained in the, Vedic, in the Vedas has great impact on present day's life of people and society. So dear students, there are six impacts given in our textbook and you have to learn all these six points and understand the points and we will be discussing and clarifying the doubts of students during Zoom class. Have a nice day. God bless you all.